In order to understand now how light energy is being absorbed into the pigments and why, we should understand how chloroplasts work. Now chloroplasts have two major molecules inside their structures, the first of which are called parotenoids, and the second structure are what we call chlorophyll. Now carotenoids are often also called accessory pigments. Accessory pigments. Now this meaning of accessory pigments we will get back to later, but let's talk about chlorophyll. Chlorophyll comes in two main molecular structures. We have chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Now, for chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, they work together and they strongly absorb blue and red light. So let's write that over here. They strongly absorb, both will strongly absorb blue and red light. Blue and red light. So what color would this give off? If I am absorbing the blue and the red portions of the visible light spectrum, then you would see the green colors reflect out. And this is exactly why we see the green color of leaves. The chlorophyll A and B are strongly absorbing the blue and red light. And in effect, we are getting the green hue coming into our eyes because it is being reflected off the chlorophyll. Now what about the carotenoids? Well, the carotenoids, I color them purposely this color because they absorb the green and the blue spectrum of light. So what would it mean it would reflect outward? Well, that would mean it reflects outward the yellow, orange, and red colors of light into our eyes. And it is interesting because carotenoids absorb wavelengths that chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B cannot, which enhances the range of wavelengths which can be absorbed in photosynthesis. Now, if I have a leaf coming from a plant, the green pigments that we see are coming from the chlorophyll A and B, whereas sometimes in the fall, we are seeing some yellowish coloring inside our leaves coming from the carotenoids. Now, why are carotenoids also called accessory pigments? Well, carotenoids are called accessory pigments because they are passing energy to chlorophyll A and B. And also, if you recall, in fall or autumn, you can sometimes see the coloration of the leaves turn more yellow and more red. And that is because chlorophyll A and B, in the times during fall and autumn, are the ones to die out first. And because of this, we are able to see more of the carotenoids inside the plant structure, and it gives it that orange to yellow hue. Now, why are carotenoids and chlorophyll so important? Well, if you think back into the light capturing reactions, it is the carotenoids and the chlorophyll which act as pigments that excite electrons. Now, why are the carotenoids and the chlorophyll so important? Well, that is because their main job as pigments are to excite electrons for light capturing reactions. Light capturing reactions. And, and I'll write that for short, light capturing reactions.